Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a quick uh, little video. We're going to start a little prep on the 98 GTX Limited 951 that we've uh, we've had this sitting here for a while now. The engine was pulled out last uh, October, November, and the engine was sent to full bore uh, first of December. I think it was December 8th. I sent the engine to full bore. Um, I've taken the mats off already. It's been out here for a while. And it needs, the seat's in pretty good condition. But as you can see, it's pretty filthy inside here. I need to take it and give it a good washing. But I gotta gut some more stuff out of here. The battery and vents and the exhaust. And the motor mounts. So that's on the to-do list real quick. But yeah, um, I already replaced this uh, rub rail insert. I've got to I got to put the front bumper cover back on that. I've already got them. I just got to put them on. And then this back corner. I got that corner. I just got to get that pop rivet it out and pop rivet the new one back in so we're ready to start this project a little bit since uh, we got the engine so let's go open up the engine we got from Dan at full bore okay so we're in the garage here and there is the engine and the tote still all zip tied up from Dan at full bore. Uh, so, got my side cutters. Cut these zip ties. Okay, all the zip ties are cut off. Okay, now let's open this bad boy up. Here's our invoice. Shipped it on 10 20 21. Have to check that and see if he's got a purchase date on it. There are our ray valves. Looks like he should have shaved them for the bore. There's our other exhaust gaskets and gasket kit. Miscellaneous parts. That's probably the you know, probably the starter or something. Let's open this up. Probably got yep rave solenoid valves and the starter. So our rave housings and stuff are there and the starter. And there is the engine. T 
10 months waiting for this thing. Okay, I'm going to pull it out of here. Okay. I'm not too fond of an all black engine because it's hard to see oil leaks. But she does look nice. Uh oh, we got a new up right there. Have to touch that up, I guess. So, other than that little nip, that little chip. She looks pretty good. So yeah, she's a pretty one. I'm tempted to put this in the 99 SPX. And say to hell with, with that GTX out there. But this has, this is set up, it should be set up for, I'll have to double check, but it's a 98, so this should be 98 uh, flywheel for dual, dual pickup flywheel, a mag cup. But I've got my stator cover that I'll have to get painted, and um, I got a new uh, stator for that as well so i have to get that painted and get that on here and get more bolts for that and then i'll throw some paint on the starter i guess he couldn't paint the starter while he had it i was hoping he would paint the starter but we'll clean this up and throw some black paint on that Yeah, there we go. Let me open up this invoice. Yep, date 12-04-20. Hmm. Ship date 10-20. Look at that. So just over 10 months. So what is this? Removal and installation of long block parts. He wants me to pay $180 for the for that, even though he took. <laughs> oh, look at that. 
This was a short block only rebuild and sent long block parts. Dan Rude and installed this. How this was not. He wants $180 for the PTO. To put the PTO and the. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. You know, maybe if he would have, uh, you know, not taken 10 months to do it. Yeah, $180. I ain't paying him a penny more. You got to be kidding me. $180 for putting on the flywheel, putting on and off the flywheel. And <laughs> yeah, that ain't, that ain't happening. That is not happening. Well, anyway, that's the thing. I don't know. I'm going to just put it in that damn GTX and sell the fucker. Excuse the language. So, yeah, if you want an engine from Dan at full bore, be prepared to wait almost a year to get it. So, uh, so that's my review. And supposedly it comes with a three-year warranty, but heaven forbid, I ain't dealing with that shit because if I send it in to him for, for a warranty rebuild... <laughs> Ah, uh, that's just, uh, I'm not dealing with that crap. Screw that warranty. Screw that warranty. I'm selling it and just getting rid of it. So, that's what we're sitting at with this. You wait. <laughs> when you're promised you'd have it done, You said, I sent it to him in December. He said he'd have it done in the spring. He said he'd have it done March, April. Didn't get it done. Didn't get it done. Kept bugging him month after month. Well, week after week. Week after week turned into months. When are you going to have it done? Oh, it'll ship next week. It'll ship next week. I'm waiting for this part. I'm waiting for that part. Excuses, excuses for five months, guys. Five months. And I have all the private messages, all the private messages to, to confirm this. So, does he do quality work? I don't know. The paint looks pretty good other than the nip. But, I don't know. I'm just... I'm just, I'm over it. I'm, I'm way too freaking long for this thing. So, anyway. So, that's Dan at full bore. Um, so, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm just too uh, infuriated to deal with it. So, okay, one more thing before I end this video. If you've got 10 plus months or a year... To wait for uh, your engine to get back from being rebuilt, send it to Dan at full bore. I'm sure he does quality work, looks great. But if you if you want it done in a timely manner, someone who keeps their promises and their deadlines, and they get it to you by by the date they say they're going to get it done, send it to Peter Rusinski at Fox Valley Power Sports. That's Fox Valley Power Sports. Um, you can find him on uh, Facebook. Uh, I think he's located in Lake of the Hills, Illinois. Um, Fox Valley Power Sports. Um, and Peter, the 720 right here is going to be coming your way uh, as soon as I get some more money. Um, and then I've got another one already packaged up that will be coming your way as well. Um, these 800s should be good. This one was rebuilt a few years ago, according to the previous owners. This one has good compression, but hopefully we're all good. This is the eight, the 787X. Um, but you can bet your sweet butt if there's any issues with those two two 800s, uh, they're coming. They're going to Peter at Fox Valley Power Sports. And if you uh, sending your engine to Peter, tell him GC Extreme sent you. Um, just so you know, that way he can say, hey, yeah. He's the guy. He's the guy to send them to. Um, so he uh, he'll know that people are watching my channel, and I'm sending him business. So thanks for watching the video, guys. Leave your comments, suggestions. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and uh, stay tuned for this build. Uh, peace out, guys.